a virus can have more powerful consequences than any terrorist action. And if the world doesn't want to wake up and consider this enemy virus as public enemy number one, I don't think we will learn from our lessons. It's been impossible to avoid the headlines. Just under 2,000 new cases. The GP surgery in Brighton has been closed. Some people call him uh, the super spreader. But how bad could this coronavirus really get? It's a very, very tense atmosphere right now. Halfway through quarantine and I am bored. And how worried should we be? It's near us now, so we need to worry about it. It is absolutely critical that public health authorities recognize a super spreading event before it goes absolutely explosive. We've all heard of this coronavirus by now. Whether you're worried or not, it's here. It's in the UK and in dozens of countries around the world. COVID-19, that's its official name, has killed more than 1,000 people and infected tens of thousands. But I wanted to get behind the science, the numbers and the noise, and to work out what we need to do to protect ourselves and ask just how concerned we should all be. Does it worry you at all? Yeah, it worries me. It's a dangerous, it's like a killer. You're a street performer, you're on the streets pretty much every day. How do people feel about coronavirus? If will be more cases and I will see this, maybe I will be a bit afraid. I know it's, uh, it's scary, but I don't get worried. Why should I be worried? I'm, uh, to me, I don't think it's around here. I'm not worried at all. Are you worried? I'm not at all, to be honest. It's, uh, I feel like it's kind of over-exaggerating. The NHS will deal with it and, and it will go good. Well, you don't know when you might contract it and you know what can happen to you. Because, because to hold it out, it's, it is very dangerous. I'm a bit concerned about it, but hey, I mean, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is knocking out a lot of people, like not just the elderly, but young people too. First stop in trying to answer that question, asking someone who's been covering the story since it broke. Are you worried about coronavirus? I'm not worried about me personally contracting coronavirus because I just don't think I'm going to be in contact with someone carrying coronavirus. They're calling this the 21st century virus. It's a runway virus. You're just one plane ride, tube ride, train ride away from having this spread and spread and spread. So it's interesting to watch. Am I personally worried? No, not yet. But let's see how it develops. So how did we get here? The COVID-19 coronavirus emerged in the city of Wuhan in China in December 2019. Experts think the outbreak started here in the Hunan seafood market. It used to be a bustling marketplace, now it looks almost like a ghost town. Inside the market it wasn't just seafood for sale. Live animals were sold next to newly slaughtered ones, sparking concerns that the virus might have been transmitted from animals to humans. Many of the first cases of the deadly virus either worked or shopped in the market. Coronaviruses are a large family of infections. At the mild end, they include viruses that cause the common cold, but some of them are much more serious. They are named after their crown-like spikes which you see under a microscope. They actually originate in animals and a few make the jump to humans. It took China a month to isolate and identify this new strain. But once it was clear what they were dealing with, the authorities responded rapidly. <laughs> Wuhan and more than a dozen other cities were locked down, restricting the movement of 56 million people. Train stations and airports were deserted. In Beijing, large groups of people gathering in restaurants were banned. Face masks sold out. And even the lifts were shut off in Hubei province to discourage people from going outside. <laughs> Wuhan, Jiao! Even though all of that happened, the virus spread. The spread of coronavirus is a serious and imminent threat to the British well, the public. The patient has tested positive for coronavirus. We start with breaking news on the coronavirus outbreak. Five new coronavirus infections that have been detected. There has now. been another case identified. There are now two cases of infection in the UK. As soon as cases of the virus were confirmed in the UK, the government announced it was a serious and imminent threat. 
We've had a super spreader, dentists running out of face masks, flights suspended to China, schools shutting and even doctor surgeries closing. So whilst we've been out filming, we've heard news of another GP surgery closing. This one has shut its door. It's literally on a residential street. And this surgery would usually be busy on an afternoon like this. But what we're seeing here is a sign on its door urging patients to contact Triple One for advice should they suspect they have coronavirus. I mean, your house is literally opposite the surgery yeah. that's now been shut. Literally How do you feel? One of the street, yeah. Um, it's been like a couple of doors down. It's quite, I don't know, making me think. Now the speed the virus spreads is one reason why we should all be worried. Each person with the disease on average could infect 2.6 other people. The main danger from it is that it spreads quite easily, but actually the mortality rates from this coronavirus are estimated to be about 1%. So what actually happens when you have COVID-19? Well, you get a fever, a dry cough, feel short of breath. In severe cases, you could get pneumonia, breathing problems, and eventually organ failure and death. This coronavirus uh, is a respiratory virus and it appears to be spread through droplets. So when people cough and sneeze and other people would then breathe that in or have contact uh, in their eyes, then they could become infected that way. Uh, another way that people can become infected is if people uh, cough or sneeze into their hand uh, and then touch a surface and then somebody else touches that surface afterwards, doesn't wash their hand and perhaps eats something or touches their mouth, nose or eyes. But even if you are exposed to this coronavirus, you don't necessarily need to worry. This coronavirus isn't particularly dangerous. So in terms of the severity of disease it can cause, the illness is not terribly severe and most people will experience a relatively mild illness. Have you changed the way you do your day-to-day -day life? No. Because of, the, because of no. your concerns? No. So what is it that's in the back of your head that makes you worry? What, what to, whatsoever will be, will be. <laughs> That's how I just go. So when you're on the bus and if somebody coughs next to you, do yeah, you sometime, panic? Yeah, you, sometimes you panic. Why? It's just natural in your head. You guys are talking. I'm not worried about it, personally. Look, I had, I had the flu two weeks ago. I was probably the person that people were concerned about being in a lecture theatre with. So is there a cure? Here's what will actually stop the virus. Quarantine is the only way containment, and that's why the government's so keen to stress stay at home, wash your hands, you know, just follow basic hygiene rules. The worst thing you can do is to suspect you've got coronavirus and go out into the general public. They, they have laboratories, they're all racing to find a vaccine across the world. They're really trying the best they can. That vaccine wouldn't be available to use for this outbreak, but it would protect us from future outbreaks. We then proceed to check those guests who reported high temperature. Oh, God. COVID-19 has caused chaos for those caught up in quarantine. When you go outside, you have to wear your mask and you are supposed to keep your distance. There are thermometer guns everywhere. People are, are up in there. Uh, their personal hygiene. We are allowed to do anything inside the fence, but not allowed to go outside. The real hero for me on the ship is the pastry chef. Um, he's determined that death by chocolate is preferable to the virus. So, today back out into the big wide world. There's not a sense of fear as such. Um, obviously there is still a little bit of concern, um, albeit very minimal, that people out there might um, have or show negativity towards you, um, might try and avoid you if they can. Now, one thing that should reassure us is that this isn't the first time that a virus like this has spread. Far from it. The most infamous coronavirus is SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. An outbreak of that strain spread global panic, killing one in ten people who were affected. In the SARS outbreak, I, um, I was in Hong Kong and I sat next to somebody who had caught SARS. Uh, and I had to be self-quarantined. And during that time, I was a bit anxious, obviously. Well, I chaired the Hong Kong government's SARS inquiry, and what we did was we looked back at what lessons could be learned. But in general, I think if we follow sensible precautions, it's the message to everybody. 
Here's the official guidance on how to protect yourself and others from getting the disease. Wash your hands. Obvious, but washing your hands frequently with soap and water or hand sanitizer will remove viruses and bacteria you pick up. If you haven't had a chance to wash them, then don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth. Don't cough or sneeze into your hands. Make sure you use a tissue. Keep your distance from people who are unwell. At least one meter between yourself and other people, especially those who are coughing, sneezing and have a fever. And take care with animals or animal products when visiting markets. The thing that makes COVID-19 stand out compared to other coronaviruses is this social media. It's insane the things you'll find online. The World Health Organization is calling this a massive infodemic. They've even partnered up with social media platforms to make sure their information surfaces at the top of people's feeds and to try and stop misinformation spreading. Look, they're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, you name it, they're there. But there's a dark side to all of this. Social media has also allowed a lot of people to spread racist slurs and memes. And even famous footballers have fed into it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. We've been talking to a lot of people who've told us that they've seen examples of racism mm -hmm. against Chinese people. Yeah. Have you had any personal experiences? Yes, we have like had a few, like here and in Birmingham, in Madrid as well. Like just people coming up to us and say like, oh, coronavirus, watch out, you know, or warning, danger, that kind of thing. But we, we kind of just like brush it off. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of new to us to be <laughs> like, stigmatized. We are a bit worried to just even cough, you know what I mean? Really? Like, so you're in public? Yeah, in public. And you're worried you, about coughing like, out loud? You try to cough and then you're like, <laughs> you try and hide it a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't want to set off a panic or something like that. It's kind of led to an outbreak of people being almost racist about people. I don't know if I'd go as far as saying racist. I think I'd just say it's that you are definitely more cautious about going to university for the sake of the fact that you know that like what 40% of the student body are from China. Because that virus is coming from there, uh, it has become like, oh, they have it. This mm. is a virus which can generate from any other yeah. country. And we've heard stories yeah. about people, yeah. you know, from Chinese people saying they've experienced prejudice and racism. Yes, there and is. people see them in the street and they cough and then they start running away and stuff. I mean, how do you feel about that? Does it worry you in any, in any case that when you go on the buses, trains, or anything like that? Not at all. The only weapon we have against the virus is trying to slow how quickly it is spreading. Limiting movement of people and quarantining those with symptoms is our best defense. When people think about pandemics, they're thinking doomsday scenario, you know, zombies on the street, arms and limbs falling off, people dying and dropping dead. It won't be like that. Even in the short time we've been making this beast, the coronavirus has moved on. Stormzy has cancelled gigs. The China Grand Prix has been called off. There's even a mask shortage in the UK. Whatever happens next, this story isn't going away. <laughs>